What's up, everybody? Well, you know, um, I told y'all, you know, a long time ago, long time ago that this whole um, Crawford and Spence thing, it wasn't about who was ducking who. It was about both sides know that they have space and opportunity to fight one another. But they chose not to fight each other, both of them. And now you kind of see it even more with Crawford and Spence not going out there saying who's ducking who. They're saying the same thing. We both want the fight. Um, and there's been talks of that over the course of a few years. But people still wanted to say, well, uh, Spence is ducking or... Terrence Crawford is ducking, which I thought was um, a bit odd to even come up with a argument that someone is ducking when you can see that both parties ain't sent nobody a car contract. And when you got when you can see that both parties didn't even want to say and still to this day don't even want to say, like I said, who's ducking who? It was a whole bunch of people creating narratives and and punchlines and a whole just just jaw jabbing about a fight that you want to see bad, but calling propaganda lists and other YouTubers and, and and people out instead of the actual fighters, both of them. And that's what I said a long time ago. People should be on both of their necks. Not over here some uh, oh, why are you ducking this guy or and picking sides and shit. We sh should have went at them both at the same damn time. You you know, show them that this is what the this is the fight the fans want to see. We ain't picking sides. And look where that got y'all. Got us two years in the motherfucking like two, three, four, whatever amount of years in 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 the hole. And now we get to the point to where nobody has anybody else to fight really and now they're content now they're talking about it but they're talking about it but ain't nothing been said really of concrete uh nothing concrete really about is the fight going to happen you know nothing concrete on contracts no nothing it's just still a whole bunch of jaw jabbing, you know, and everybody out here hoping that the fight would happen. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, we get like some type of um, answers or something like that. But really, to tell you the truth, with this Crawford and Spence thing, man, I got like I like I said, I, and with this, there was no need to be talking about who's ducking. There was really no need to be arguing about it, having debates about it. Because at this point, all, of, all the debates, all of the debates are, they were dumb. I mean, it, to me, when you look at it, like if you looked at those those debates and you heard the arguments and you fast forward until now and you bought the information that, that we got and how both fighters are talking, it was a waste of fucking wind. It was a waste of fucking wind. And, and, we, and we see why. Well, I see why. I, I know a lot of you guys out there won't see why, because you guys are too you, too worried about um, weird weird ass narratives. I ain't got no time for that. I'm a grown ass man, and as a grown ass man, when I'm not getting the fights that I want to see, there's no need to there's no need for debates on that shit. There's no need to be talking to another dude on YouTube about who's ducking who. It's a fucking absurd. Fucking absurd. Unless you know for a fact, bona fide, no shot of a doubt, that there's factual information out there for duckery, then, yeah, but there wasn't. And you see there wasn't now. Because if there was, Crawford will be calling Spence a duck. If there was, Spence will be calling Crawford a duck. And will be insinuating how it, one or the other was avoided this whole time until now. But there ain't. You know why there ain't? Because they both agreed on it. 
They both was in cahoots. They both was in, this is just my opinion. If you don't like it, you know where you can go and uh, you know where you can go um, and get the fuck out of my face and go suck something because I ain't got no time for you niggas and I ain't got no room in here either. Um, you know, now the, the Liam Smith thing, uh, they're saying that he caught some, uh, some raps, some stacking. Yeah, that's good for him, man. That's, that's what you're supposed to do, man. I know there's been a lot of um, things circulating around here since Deontay Wilder with hand wraps, gloves, um, Oshaki Foster, uh, countless other people, gloves, hand wraps, Dillian White, gloves. And there's been a lot, um, a lot of spotlighting on this. And, um, one thing I, I would say is, uh, there was no commission in the room of the hand wraps that you guys can see in the video. That's about to pop up. There's no, uh, nobody in there from the commission, nobody in there, uh, to uphold the rules and regulations of said hand wraps. It was just two trainers and a fighter, two trainers and a fighter. No commission. They had to wait for the commission to come in to check them, which I, which I, I, this is the reason why I find it odd. There's no commission in there. What if they both didn't know the rules and the dude was doing that? You know what I'm saying? What if, what if somebody didn't know the rules and told somebody else that's not how you do it and they, and they, and they hand wrap somebody's hands wrong? You know what I'm saying? Like, you would assume, like, the commission will be in there to make sure that um, there's a fair playing field on both sides, but there wasn't. There wasn't. And, you know, it is what it is. I mean, they came in there and finally got the facts straight and all that stuff. Uh, thought it was funny. The dude was like, "Well, I do this all. The, I, I stack. I stack hand wraps all the time. Um, you know, I, I'm just kind of like, and you know, everybody just heard that and just like, you know, at that point, it's, it's, it's you. You was having by the rules and regulations, your fighters were fighting under an uh, uh, an advantage in the ring, uh, and that's what he admitted to. Um, but you know, it is what it is." Um, it is what it is in that situation, man. You know, ain't nobody about to go back and start. They ain't about to do that shit, man. They ain't about to do that. And I don't fucking blame them. And uh, the reason why I don't blame them is because for fucking what? You know, if people. Th these fighters, th the fighters today with all the <clears throat> technology and, 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 and all the stuff that we have now. You know, a fighter just can't be a fighter. You, you, you fighters out there need to be knowing these rules and regulations too. There's no way in the world that there's some some guy on YouTube should know that stacking is illegal, and some trainer don't know that. You know, uh, even though I understand that everybody doesn't know everything and 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 stuff like that, and people are always, you know, uh, l learning and stuff like that. But hand wraps, homie. There's, there's, there's no, there's, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you, you know, I'm not going to insinuate uh, his level of competency or whatever the case may be, but that's, that's, that is, that's, that should be a big issue to a lot of people that you don't know how, you don't know what's legal and not legal when it comes to hand wraps. Gloves, I can kind of see because there ain't no real uh, uh, definition, uh, solid definition of what a glove is really supposed to consist of. But hand wraps, you know, come on, come on, and and, and I'm pretty. It is what it is with the, with that man. Um. Now, um. Somebody's. Uh, I was on Twitter. I'm trying to remember it. What what was said? But um, Malachi has said uh, I should put a towel around my shoulder right here. And call myself uh, Coach Johnson. Just just fake the funk out of that motherfucker. Um, but anyways, um, this Malachi guy basically said something on the lines that Charlo was ducking Benavidez. And that he's scared to move up. Well, Benavidez can move down. You know, somebody got to move up. Somebody got to move down. That's just, that's just what it is. And somebody responded that, well, Benavidez... 
already having problems making 168 or whatever. That ain't that ain't Charlo's problem. What what weight you can't make is not Charlo's problem. You see what I'm saying? Um. Now Charlo can move up, fuck his whole shit up. You know what I'm saying? And and not have and, and you know not gain the weight properly or this and the third. And then if he uses it as an excuse, you motherfuckers would say the same thing. That ain't Benavidez's problem. He chose to get in the ring. You see what I'm saying? So, um, I don't believe in all that, all that foolishness. You know, like I said before, it, it takes two to tangle. I don't see no contracts being signed, being, being sent out, um, for a catch weight or whatever the case may be between Charlo and Benavidez. You can go both ways. Benavidez can send it. Or, or Charlo's team can send it. I mean, now that Ben Benavides, uh toe up Lemonix's ass, had him in there looking like a uh, like a redheaded stepchild, uh, and, and, and Walmart acting a fool. Boy, he be man, man, man. I know, I know, I know that boy likes like. Why the fuck did I pick up boxing? Why, why of, of all sports to pick, I pick this motherfucker and. This motherfucker, this he he was beating the brakes off of him. I know some people out there talking about some um uh the stoppage wasn't this and that and the third. Who fucking cares? At that point, when you watched it, there was nothing he could do. Nothing. He don't. He didn't have the one one punch knockout power. He didn't have the defense. He didn't have the offensive artillery. He had nothing. He was He was. It was going to get bad. It was getting ugly. It was getting ugly. You know? Almost knocked the motherfucker out the ring. Almost. You know, there was it, it was the 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 level of uh, skills, the level of skills, so what I'm in my fucking nose. The level of skills was so far apart, man. So far apart. And I heard some motherfuckers said they, they gave they gave Lemonix a chance. I was like, man, get the fuck out of here. Whatever the fuck his name is. L for loser. I need to stop. He ain't never did me no wrong. I don't know why I'm talking shit about the dude like that. You know, but it was horrible. It was, you know, it was like one of those fights that, you know, pretty much everybody had that this is the way it was going to go. Pretty much everybody was figuring the same thing. And it, and it, we all guessed right. Um, David says stuff about Charlo. Uh, David says stuff about Canelo. Um, Canelo was not about to fight that man next. Um, he took an L against Bibble, uh, which I didn't see that coming, but it is what it is. And that fight, I don't think Canelo, look, look, Canelo didn't do nothing to even try to win that fight in my book. It, it seemed like he tried to do what he does, which is land a few power shots and wait for the person to go. Because if you look at it, people ain't been lasting with Canelo. They ain't been going the distance with Canelo um, a, a lot of the fights. You know, he's been getting these guys tired and getting them out of there or hurting them and then getting them out of there. And he's just, uh, you know, Canelo was landing a lot of arm punches to uh, Bivol's bicep uh, and Bivol. Uh, came out to actual be able to uh, take care of those punches, you know, by way of, uh, you know, his, his, his defense was defense, you know, not just going to sit there and sit there in front of the dude and let him get and, and, and let him fire off on you and get that offense off first. Cause that's what, that's what Bivol was doing. He was getting that offense off first. He never let uh, Canelo, um, he never wanted. He never let Canelo really get uh, get get set. Um, he threw punches when uh, Canelo was trying to t was trying to take time off. Uh, just just a whole bunch of shit just didn't look right on Canelo's part, and just he just looked complacent, chin in the air. Um, didn't didn't look like he really he he wanted to put in hard work in that fight. Looked like he thought he was just about to. It literally looked like Canelo thought that he was going to tire him out 
Um, it's going to tire him and tire him out. He going to get tired or he going to hurt him enough to where he can get him out of here like he'd been doing those other guys. But it didn't happen. It just, it just motherfucking didn't happen. Fucking callous. It just didn't happen. And he got his ass whooped. Um, but as far as Canelo fighting um, Triple G next, it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, it makes sense. And I'm going to tell you guys why it makes sense. <clears throat> Fury won't admit it. And, and Canelo won't admit it. That they need, um, they need motherfucking, they need to tighten up. And they're not going to be able to fix whatever their problem is, where they went wrong with uh, a training camp. Um, they need a decent live opponent. Well, and Canelo's as far as Triple G, decent, because uh, he's old. The old, putting the, the old factor in there. Um, live opponent. And to, to to fix what he fucked up, you know, um, Fury, those weren't live opponents, um, but he knew he needed it. Um, he needed to tighten his his defense and his uh, and his footwork, um, and just overall as a whole game. You know what I'm saying? He needed it. He needed the confidence boosters, all that shit. He needed to get his. Uh, uh, his, his wins back need to, you know what I'm saying? Um, but in, in the case of Canelo, I can see, um, it could be that some people a cowardly act, um, to, to avoid the guy who whooped your ass, um, and then go back and fight him after you beat this guy. It can be seen as a cowardly act, but I think, I think it just needs to be real about it. And just be honest. And I think that would, I think that, right, I think honesty with these, especially with boxing fans out here, um, it'll help out a lot of the bullshit because, uh, everybody, I mean, that's just what, it, that's what it just seems to be. You got your ass whooped, you need your confidence back or whatever, or you need to fix what you, your, your problem, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, something. Because Bivol don't give a fuck. Bivol, Bivol said he'll move down to fight Canelo. Bivol said he having a hard time uh, making that uh, making that weight. So, you you know, you know, there's there's really no excuses uh, for not fighting Bivol next. All because of only thing I can think of is that he, he Canelo got some tightening to do. He got to tighten up on some things. It's not a bad thing uh, to admit that. When you need help, I think when you, I I, I think I think it's, it's it's bad when you don't, and you try to fake the phone and act like it's something else, but in turn, you know, we know what you're doing, and um, I think that's all I have. Uh, shout outs to everybody in uh, the whole worldwide boxing community. It's everybody stay sucker free.